Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here in Paso Robles, California at the new Electrify America chargers. Uh, this is a four unit site with uh, ABB units. This is pretty typical site of theirs. This is a three, two 350 kilowatt chargers and 250 kilowatt chargers. Uh, and then of course there's the one uh, 50 kilowatt Chatamo head. And uh, you know, this is just off of Highway 101, north of San Luis Obispo. It's gonna be a really important site in terms of connecting travel uh, from the San Francisco Bay Area uh, down to the greater Los Angeles area along this Highway 101 corridor. Uh, and you know, one of the big issues with driving Highway 101 is even for 200 mile electric vehicles, you have to charge really high to bridge some of the gaps. Now there are usually 24 kilowatt chargers in between. I was always using them just as emergency chargers uh, to help bridge that gap. Like today it's raining, it's cold, I'm heading south and I have a bit of a headwind. Uh, and so when you're facing those sorts of conditions, that 140 mile gap uh, between fast chargers is really hard to bridge. Well, this cuts that down significantly. In fact, it cuts it down by about 30 to 40 miles. So I just charged up in Prunedale at the recargo station and I left at about 70% battery. Now I arrived here at about 5%, uh, but that's not going to be representative of typical driving. So this is a really good location in that it's gonna help bridge that gap. And then for northbound traffic, like for me, previously San Luis Obispo was one of the better stops, right? The first stop leaving Los Angeles, but it's just too early. And this is ideally located in that regard, where if you're heading north, it's a little bit farther out than San Luis Obispo, so it makes a better first stop on a trip. Now let's hop right into the site score for this uh, Paso Robles Electrify America site. In terms of access, I'm only gonna give this an eight out of 10. And the reason for that is it's not right off the freeway. You're, you're off by about a block, block and a half from the freeway. It's by no means as difficult to get to as something like the San Luis Obispo EV Go charger, but it's still not as easy as it should be uh, for a travel charger. But also, in addition to that, I'm not going to point off because there's just not a really clean, good way of uh, bringing any sort of a full pull through parking here. This is a bank parking lot, and it's just really meant for small cars coming in and going. Uh, and there's just not a whole lot of space for full pull through parking. Maybe after hours you could get away with it. Uh, but it's not going to be a regular thing. So it's only going to get an eight out of 10 for access. In terms of amenities, I'm actually kind of disappointed. There isn't a whole lot going on here. Uh, there, there isn't any covering to these chargers, but there's really not any covering to any part of this, uh, this parking lot. So that's already a, a knockdown. But then on site, the only services are bank, right? So a lot of times when you're traveling, you don't need to stop at a bank. Now, this is sort of in a centralized part of Paso Robles, so it, it, it would be possible to walk over and grab something from somewhere, a store maybe, uh, but I wouldn't count on having access to a bathroom 24 hours a day. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of security or monitoring 24 hours a day, but I, I don't know if there's anyone on site. Uh, so all of those uh, add up to a, a relatively low amenities score. So I'm only gonna score this a seven out of 10 for amenities. In terms of site concentration, this has four chargers. That's a little bit more than average, right? Uh, this is a highway stop, so you'd want even more than that normally, uh, but I'm still gonna score this a little bit higher. I'm still gonna score this a six out of 10 for site concentration. Four chargers is a little bit above average, which is kind of where you want it to be. And, uh, you know, if they have enough sites spread out, it won't be so bad, but Highway 101 is a very busy uh, travel route and a lot of electric vehicles drive up and down it. So uh, we really do need to be looking at a little bit more than four chargers, but still I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for concentration. 
In terms of location though, I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, again, like I said, there's a huge gap on Highway 101 that was being underserved. This is gonna be a key charger in, uh, in being able to support that uh, route along Highway 101. Again, this is ha heavily trafficked by electric vehicles. So this is a good support charger. And this also is at a junction which connects up and over into the Central Valley. So this is a really important spot in that regard. Uh, it's a nice connecting route. Uh, so whether you're traveling directly north or south or you're, you're crossing over, uh, it's going to be a useful site. It's going to be something that a lot of people are going to want to use. And uh, yeah, I, and it's also just ideally located for a lot of travel between major metropolitan cities. So it's a, a really easy 10 out of 10 for location. And then in terms of speed, of course, this is an Electrify America site with 350 kilowatt chargers. This is a 10 out of 10 for speed. Uh, it ch they charge faster than an, any current electric vehicle can charge. So, you know, you can't really score them down for that. So it's a 10 out of 10 for speed. That brings the total site score to a 41 out of 50, which is a you know, a decent B. And like I said, there's a lot of little things that could change about this site that would uh, up the score, but it needs some significant help in other areas. Like I said, like amenities, uh, on-site services, those sorts of things. Uh, it's really just sort of lacking. So, uh, I mean, this is going to be a useful site and it's a great site to have. I just don't know that it's going to be a stellar site for things other than simply stopping to refuel. But I think a 41 out of uh, 50 is still a, a decent score. So I'd love to hear what you think. Have you had a chance to use this charger yet? Do you regularly drive Highway 101? Are you excited to see this coverage as, as excited as I am? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.